Hey guys, how's it going? So today's video is going to be how to transplant sunflowers. Sunflowers do not really transplant well, like, so that's why I'm transplanting with them seedlings, because if you destroy, like, literally, like, one little small taproot, it'll just flop over and die. So that's why I'm going to transplant them in my front yard flower bed really early, because I started these ones from seed, like, a couple weeks ago. And I need to transplant them early because the roots haven't touched the side of the pot yet, so it's not root bound. So I can't, I don't have to shuffle up the roots. So I, if I won't destroy any roots, so that's good. It's best to transplant them at this stage, though. But it's it's even better just to direct seed them. But I didn't know that until when I started these. So I'm just gonna set these out in my front yard flower bed, and I'll give you some more tips, and then I'll plant them. Oh, and also, here's another flat of some flowers that I started. Here's one too. I brought them to the front yard. For some reason, the sunflower seedlings that were in these white pots grew much faster than the ones in the um, these pots. I started them at the exact same time. So now I'm just going to set them out. I'll show you when I'm done. It looks much better now, so I put the bigger ones on the edges. So now for the seedling, I got the soil really wet before I, before I um, did this. So the soil didn't break up, because that's critical when you transplant sunflowers. Usually I'd wait till it grows out of its pot, but for sunflowers it's totally different. So first thing I need to do is just... I'm just going to set up the camera and then I'll show you. So, grab the plant. Basically, you don't touch it. You put your fingers on the other side and tip it over like this. And you have the seedling in your hand like that and you let it come out. Be really careful. And then you dig the hole. I don't have to dig the hole because I'm in a raised bed and the soil is really fluffy so I can just use my hands. Because I'm kind of like a hand gardener, I don't use gloves. <laughs> Most people use gloves but I don't. So then you put it in like this. And then I filled in with soil. Try to be as careful as possible because these seedlings are really like um, weak and tender. So they are very sensitive. Oh, I accidentally pointed in the wrong spot. Oh gosh. That's okay. So now I just put it back here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a bigger plant in front. If you did this method, you may be, you may be thinking like, oh, I got it right. But you won't see the results until like a couple weeks because if it, you did it wrong, it would be on the ground, flop laying on ground. So if, if that happens, I recommend you just to seed it, like direct seed it. Like some plants that you should direct seed are like zinnias, cosmos, um, sunflowers, all kinds of stuff that get like bushy daisies, stuff like that. I'll do one more and show you guys and then I'll set the camera. I'll do this guy. So same thing, I'm just gonna dig a hole in the back. Actually, I learned the technique take it out of the pot first and to like not um, spread soil around your whole raised bed take it out of the pot and then you put the soil back in the pot like this there so now I'm just going to set it in this hole See, I put a little bit of gap between the soil and the brick so I can have a little bit of room to do root. But since I'm going to be putting a big perennial in front of it, I'm, I don't. I want to leave some space. And these sunflowers are annuals. I'll show you which one I planted. If you watch the video where I planted all of the other plants, it's called I planted a ton of plants in my new raised bed. I said I'm going to plant this one called Tiger Eye Hybrid, but I'm not going to do that. I changed my mind. I'm going to do, I'm going to do varieties called Busy Bee and Dwarf Teddy Bear. So I'm going to plant these and I'll show you when I'm done. So two of them didn't go as well as I hoped. Two of them, uh, one of them actually, I accidentally like pulled out so that one didn't work. Another one in my saw the root at the bottom so you should never, I mean like never start these seeds in a pot and transplant them but the reason I'm making this video is if you already did, it's just a way to get out of it and have a chance your sunflowers will survive. But if these ones don't survive, which I'm guessing maybe like two will survive, um, I'm gonna just direct seed them. And now I'm just gonna go show you 
my um, seeds that I'm using. So I'm using some of them are the busy bee. Look like this. See, there's like a bee on it. And the reason I tore this off so I can, when I store my seeds, I tore, tear it off so I can label them. But this is basically the information. Four to five feet. It would add a nice look with the pansies and primosas. And then I'm probably gonna thinking like some salvia or lavender or something or dianthus maybe on the sides. And then I got the dwarf teddy bear. I'm also gonna use the sunflowers in bouquets too. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you have any comments, questions, you guys can subscribe. I mean comment. Subscribe also. And like, give it a like if you like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Look at that pansy bloom. One thing I forgot, whenever you transplant something, you have to water it in. So bye. Subscribe too.